Alright, time for a little bit of cowboy poetry. I went ahead and came up with this while I was working a hops harvest in Kaiser, Oregon. Which, I know what you're thinking, does not qualify as cowboying, but by God, it qualifies as something. This is better offer. Well, I went to sell some horses at the Woodburn auction. Hope to make a house payment with what they brought in. I had a couple that could dance, some that could prance. I know one would ride good if he'd give me a chance and let me get on him, goddammit. Well, if he ain't broke, don't fix him. I showed him all off, did my riding tricks. Tried to sell 12, but they only bid on six. It's hard to make good when I'm doing so bad. So I loaded up the half I still had, went to the bar, ordered a stiff beverage. Remind myself, in baseball, 500's a hell of an average. Headed on home with my half dozen steeds. Said, that's okay, girls keep eating my feed. My lady come out and said she needed the trailer. Heading over the mountain, found a deal on a bramer. A two-year-old bull sold by some Josie Moss sucker. With a little nice work can make a big mean bucker. And I said, I don't know, darling. I never raised rodeo stock. She said, oh no, I don't need your help. I said, okay, good talk. So with my pockets half empty, and my lady all gone, and without a hell of a whole lot more going on, I decided to go over, see my old buddy Mike, see if he had something for me, and he just might. Yeah, he had stuff to get sauced, things to get blasted, so I slipped him a 10 spot for a blotter of acid. Went outside and watched the hazelnuts turn into stars. Crazier shit than I've seen in these parts. And I ran around the field, thought about my yield, sat down on a stump, gave myself a good talk or two, and said, now what in the hell's gotten into you? Who even cares about the money you make? No real people do, just folks at the bank. Feeling sorry for yourself won't turn things around. In fact, there's nothing to turn. Except for telling the ground. Eh, it's a long road to hoe. I was getting kicked in the ass. First thought on eviction, find the horse's new grass. Pray that my lady can make good on her bull. She's the only one keeping our bellies both full. But if we wanted something easy, we would have chose something else. Instead, it's the good life we chose for ourselves. Getting in mud, getting in debt, shedding some blood, breaking a sweat. Yeah, son, I'll tell you, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Unless you had a better offer.